Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's Doom 3, my current Jay Plays series with the upcoming release of Doom Eternal. Doom 3, not really the best to showcase the Doom series because it's so different than all the other entries, but regardless, I have a good time with this. I remember we had very little HP, so let's let's give it a go. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo to need to pick up the pace. Reaching the communication quickly is imperative. No, don't, don't close. I just decided to wait for Kelly to finish speaking. Otherwise, he gets cut off, and then we can't hear what he says. The only thing with the shotgun, because the shotgun... The shotgun requires you to be so close that sometimes what will end up happening... The, are there more? Because you end up having to be so close, you'll end up triggering more enemies in the area because you run forward to use it. So that's why sometimes it's it's more worth kind of doing the more the more boring approach, which is to stay in the back with the submachine gun and uh, and take take out uh, stuff from a distance if you feel relatively safe in doing so. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Okay, not even gonna waste that two health by using it one more time. Oh, uh, one health. Anyone else? There's always more than one. Yup, there's several. And see, this is Doom 3, so we play we play it safe. We don't just run in guns blazing, at least not till later when we get like the rocket launcher or the plasma rifle. But that's not for a while. See? Where did that where did it, it came from the vents above me? That's why you gotta be like extra, extra careful. Feels like there's definitely fewer health pickups than on the No! That's right, you piece of shit! Not this time! Oh. Got him. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh All right, it looks like that's a dead end, so we gotta go in here. Water. I could watch that little video presentation, but no thank you. It's, it's risky to use the shotgun on the imps, just because you have to get so close, and if you don't kill them in that one shot, they're gonna get a free melee hit on you, if not two. Okay, we got a restricted access thing here. Uh, excuse me. I hate this. What? Did I? I, t I feel like I took a bunch of damage. But I'm not sure from what. Alright. Well, let's listen to our new... Kyle Berger thing. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, research assistant is calibrating one of the quark emitters, and the witnesses say he appeared to see something. Like was talking to him. And Warning. He right laser active. It was not pretty sad. So that's a few minutes, although I'm not sure you can see But they say his eyes rolled back and forth and he's trying to talk. Okay, not that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reason. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab. And we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. Code for the cabinet is 752. And Very nice, and we got some health that we can come back to. That's the only thing with the audio logs. I'd rather just not listen to them at all, because they're kind of a pain to hear. But... Okay, let's go. Nope. Okay, got stuck. I think maybe you have to jump up there. 
They're kind of a pain to hear, but sometimes they have audio logs, which you can hear. I think there's a video disc that we can get to explain to us what the heck this thing is. Okay, it's not, not an ideal way to exit a vent, but sure. Oh my god. If you're sensitive to flashing lights also, perhaps a, a warning about this series. Wait a second, here's someone walking. I don't think that actually does anything, but I don't know. More health? Anytime I can kind of catalog where I've left health on the ground. Boom! That was lucky. He could have shot a fireball a lot faster than that. The fireballs, though, are just so slow. Uh. All right. <laughs> These guys don't concern me. I could kill them with a pistol too if I wanted, but I have so much ammo. I think part of it is because I'm I'm fairly efficient at using my shotgun ammo. Okay, we obviously don't want to go this way. Fairly efficient at using my shotgun ammo. Which saves me a lot of assault rifle ammunition. Okay, that didn't really work. By the way, with the shotgun reloading, every time you put a shell in, it gives you two shots. I don't understand why, but that's fine with me. Uh, I doubt there's really going to be anything back here except enemies, but sure. It's not like we're hurting for shotgun ammo at this point. Here we go. Gas leak stopped. That'll Fire let us extinguished. That'll let us through that other area, and we got a new PDA. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was when John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is going to overrun our budget on the Please mark this for me. Jesus. Okay. Uh, not great grenade throwing there by Jay Barino, but it's fine. We, we did it. Anytime you enter a room and there are no enemies, it's obviously very suspicious that they're probably going to be popping out from somewhere. What's this down here? Whoa! You son of a bitch. So you can hear, like, when you pick something, anytime you see extraneous stuff just sitting on the ground, you can pretty much assume it's going to spawn a monster. But whether it gets warped in or if it just a, a door, like a wall opens and it's just in there. It's very doomy, that's for sure. Right, these are melee only. They don't have that much HP, though. They're, I find them to be relatively simple to kill. I guess I could just leave. Like, I could just walk out <laughs> if I wanted to. Is this it? 
Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? No, that was it. Okay. Thought there'd be more of them. So obviously we want to go through the floor. Oh, okay. I wanted to just at least check what was that way, but the answer is nothing. Gotta use our flashlight in the vents. Really? You're not gonna let me kill the imp through the, the grating? That would have been so satisfying. Right in the chest from underneath. Alright, so I think this is probably where we actually want to pop out, so let's check over here instead. Just HP. That's fine. Again, I'm, I'm actually quite favorable to the shotgun at this early stage of the game, so... I don't really care if I'm leaving ammunition for the... It's called the assault rifle, but it doesn't really seem like... I wouldn't... I wouldn't say it's an assault... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Alright. That's the door we couldn't get through before. These stupid walking zombies pose virtually no threat. Cue to five minutes later when Jay Barino was killed by one of them. It's bound to happen. I heard him. I knew he was in there. Let's just leave the grenades out. They're they're pretty good against these guys. They're running at me from somewhere. Oh, no. Now they decide to come through the door. Kaboom. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if holding the grenade for longer causes you to be able to throw it further or just reduces the time of it exploding. But ideally, you, you will actually make a connection with the grenade so that it just straight up blows up. You know what I mean? Would you stop it? Who's doing that? So I haven't used much of the uh, the chain gun. There's not much ammunition for it at this point, so it's fine if I don't use it. I don't really care for it that much. It's got a spin-up time. And even for a game that's relatively slow like Doom 3, and Doom 3 isn't that slow. So there's a lot of encounters that move very quickly, but... Uh, I mean, relative to the other Dooms with, like, the lighting and the environment, like, the atmosphere, the environment's definitely quite slow. But regardless, um, having a, a gun that takes a while to spin up is not ideal. So it's, it's a very niche weapon, I find. So I can hear a heartbeat. I don't really care for that. There's another one somewhere, so let's just leave for a moment. Never mind, we ran right into him. I hope on the doors and back up just in case there's an asshole imp waiting to jump on me. Okay. This is normal. Oh, hello. Sometimes I overestimate how how uh the fireballs move, overestimate, underestimate, what have you. Like, I think they'll move faster than they actually do, so I'll leave cover before they've actually hit what I'm hiding behind. Yikes. Barely saw that one in time. Hydration control. Nope, didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to click on the thing. Oh, I can't actually interact with it. All right. I hear more zombies. Oh, there's one of these creeps. Those, you don't even need to be as close as imps to one shot with a shotgun, which is why I don't consider them huge threats, but they will pop out in, like, enormous amounts of numbers. That guy don't have no head.
Is there a reason that I came in here? Come on! <laughs> Another door opened. I heard it. Or no, maybe that was me picking something up. Did I pick up a... What did I get? Oh, I got this Hydrocon video. The videos never really give you anything. I think I just... I guess I can watch the Hydrocon video. Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely, without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. So I need... I need a PDA. I need a PDA, but it's not in here. Did I miss a PDA somewhere? Because obviously I have to go through here, but let's backtrack a little bit and see if I can find it. There must have been a different way. Oh! Well, I didn't need that, but sure. This is where I came in. Mm. Jay Barino getting stumped. None of these are interactable. No? Again, I really would have expected it'd be in here. None of these are inner. Wait. Oh, that's where I bet I just did the power backup thing. Ah! Ha ha! Sometimes it's just that easy. Gotta be real observant. That's why, I'm, regarding commentary, I'm a little less... Oh! That was a person! That was a man! Okay, George. I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, he has a lost PDA. <laughs> what? Oh, I got smushed! You know, I guess that was deserved. All right, this is why I should be quick saving more often, so that I don't have to replay You're... stuff off camera. Oh, I startled me. Man, I'm ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. Hydra got blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. So this guy, I guess, drops his PDA, and, uh... It just says, hey, someone lost their PDA. So it's it's interesting how those little details are there, but otherwise kind of pointless. Right, that's the Hydrocon. That's the video that we got. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Security clearance updated. That'll let us into the Hydrocon in theory. Nothing else up, else up here. So let's drop. Thank you for no falling damage. I appreciate that. Onwards. Now I'll quick save. Thought I just heard. Yep. I say, come to me. No! <laughs> say, I was pretty confident that I heard 
the little comm chatter that they have. No audio logs. No codes. Sure. Sometimes there's other various helpful stuff in there, but again, if you really want to read those, just go on the, the Doom wiki. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. I see. Well, I'll just stay here. How about that? Okay, well, not killing the first one in one shot kind of set me back there. I hear more. No. I, the first thing I tend to do is check behind me. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta also make sure that I'm on the lookout for ladders more frequently. Multiple ways to go here. That's the That was the passage that was blocked from way earlier that we've gone all the way around for. Locked? Yeah. We'll check back there later. Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have been. Oh, that's just the Hydrocon video. Vital to you. You See, even this one. weapon As takes him out. I'll, I'll just call it the assault rifle, because that's what it's called in the game. Ah! Ah! Oh god, I'm trapped in the floor. No, did that bounce back at me? No, okay, that was just like a graphical thing. Okay, that should have gotten him. I'm gonna back up real quick. And use this. Okay, I think we're okay. We can probably go on the floor. I should probably do that first. Flashlights. Nothing. Well, I mean, there was something, but... Say, so something is obviously gonna happen in here. This will be a problem when I re have to reload. Took a surprising amount of damage there, but that, I guess, was okay. It could have been worse. Again, there were some instances where I wasn't able to take them out in one hit, and that does make a big difference. Elevator? Oh, that's it. So I guess... Well, I guess let's go use the health. I guess this just never opens. Well, that happens sometimes. All right. Relatively quick level, though I did die in it, so... Oh, well. Again, maybe I'm missing a secret that would have allowed me behind the door. It doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's continue. I, this isn't, like, a 100% run. Every... All the secrets are really just there to provide you with tools to survive. So as long as we're surviving one way or another and not getting crushed by a giant futuristic piece of technology, then, uh, whether we miss stuff or not really doesn't matter. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. We're going to head into Sector 2 of Alpha Labs next time. Bye-bye.